Hey guys, welcome back to me growing my first ever business. And as the title suggests, we made 4K in 24 hours, which is obviously pretty cool. Um, if you're new to the channel, I'm in Dylan's Digital Marketing. We're a search engine optimization agency. We have 14 clients. And I'll explain why we have 14 clients now instead of 15 clients. And this video is, uh, every video is me documenting the journey, right? But this video is gonna go on uh, why I had to let a client go, um, some consulting work that I've been doing, and obsessing over my daily actions and putting them into one sentence to literally like guarantee success, especially with like revenue, uh, personal growth, stuff of that nature. So I think it could be really interesting and hopefully this camera is straight. So I do apologize. Okay. Yeah, I think it's straight. <laughs> um, as you know, there's no production quality whatsoever. So uh, letting a client go, basically, how do you make more money with a business? You get more clients or you make them worth more. And because I started this business after being sick of my nine to five, right? And I was just trying to get revenue and I'll get revenue by any means. Like if I had to, you know, charge ridiculously low, I'd do that just so I could get money in the door so that I could leave my nine to five and, you know, focus on the agency. And this was quite a while ago, right? But we still had some clients paying, you know, minimal, minimal fees that were so far below, you know, market rate. Well, I just couldn't justify, you know, not having them on board basically because I still have to, you know, look after their accounts, make sure everything's going well, and doing all of that, which is a lot of work, by the way, um, for, you know, just such a little fee. Um, I, I had to just um, explain the situation, right? It wasn't profitable for the business. And especially if I'm, you know, outsourcing that labor, uh, outsourcing the SEO work to someone else, uh, I have to make a margin off that. And if not, it's just a headache for no reason. So, um, and you know what's sad? They were my first client and they're such cool people because they took a leap with regards to, you know, trusting me with their SEO. And um, obviously I hate, like, I would never want to come across ungrateful. So I explained to them the situation where I was like, I just can't continue to, you know, do SEO at this price point. Um, and what I did is I tried to, I showed them what I was pay, what other clients were uh, charging, 99% of clients, uh, what I was charging 99% of clients. And I was like, just because you guys are my first client um, and, you know, I've got all like the respect in the world for you because obviously they helped me start my agency um, and such cool people. I was like, I'll do it a little bit below, uh, but the price will have to go up, right? And unfortunately, they couldn't commit and it does suck, I guess, just because, you know, they were my first client. I liked having them on board. Um, such a good company, like they're going far. Uh, I don't have enough good things to say. This is unfortunate, right, that I just couldn't keep serving them at this price point. Um, and as I say, all my clients were up there. I tried to offer them a little bit low. But again, it was still a big jump from what they were paying because, as I say, when I did get them, I was just looking for, you know, any kind of monthly recurring revenue. So I had to let a client go. I believe we're on 14 clients now. Um, it's not bad, not bad at all. And I bet you we do, you know, another two or three uh, in February. Like the pipeline is looking incredible, uh, which, you know, I'm hesitant to say that because everything, knowing my luck, everything will fall out and um, there'll be nothing left. But yeah pipeline's looking good especially during the last week of february i think a lot of deals are just going to trickle over uh as in like um convert so that should be a really enjoyable week right i think there's about six meetings lined up for the last week of february which is absolutely insane just thinking about it and if i can close half you know i'm laughing if i can close more laughing even more if i can close all of them ha 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 laughing like crazy <laughs> um but yeah so i had to let a client go okay and based on this video uh made 4k in a day which is insane because it's not even to do with my business so as you guys know i have an seo agency so i get monthly recurring revenue from you know variety of clients um that just pay on a monthly basis <laughs> i don't know why where i was going with that um but on the side i get people reaching out via you know because i post content on youtube x instagram tiktok um, I get people reaching out, maybe two people a week, just reaching out with like consulting services, uh, whether they want to start an agency, whether they want help with client acquisition, that was one the other day, uh, whether they want help with how I actually do the SEO, uh, whether they want SEO training, stuff of that nature. And I get maybe, yeah, I want to say one or two per week, just people asking me. And um, yeah, I'll block it out and I make sure that it doesn't run, you know, during agency hours. But um, I'll have a conversation, see if I could help them. And yeah, that's essentially what happened and how I made 4K in a day. And it was via two different, you know, consulting um, consulting jobs. We, let's call it consulting jobs, where essentially it's like, um, I think one's a two hour call 
Uh, one's a four hour call, one's just about, you know, client acquisition. The other one's about, you know, setting up an agency for this guy. Um, I'll just, I'll, like, I've already shown them everything that I've done with regards to my agency. And they just want me on a call to explain it further. Uh, for one of them, I'll put a deck together. And again, that'll be, you know, like a, quite an extensive deck to help these guys as much as possible, try and provide as much value with regards to what I know about client acquisition. Because my client acquisition is strong. We signed five clients in November, three clients in December, three clients in January. And um, I don't know how February is going to pan out, but I hope three. Three seems like a realistic number. Um, so, yeah, we have a strong client acquisition uh, side. So that's why I, you know, I'm, I'm doing consulting for um, this one company. And then somebody else wanted to start an agency. And that's a bit more in-depth, right? Because uh, I have to go through everything with regards to fulfillment, cold outbound, how they get set up, how they get the first clients, how they scale it, all of that good stuff. So that one's a little bit more in-depth. But as I say, uh, for two calls, um, that is 4K in a day. Well, I say two calls, but there's a lot of preparation. That's going to go into uh, both of them, I guess. You know, we're preparing decks, resources, ongoing support, all of that good stuff. But yeah, um, just because when people reach out and I know that I can help them, I don't, like, I'd be daft not to, especially um, if it's at a good price point. Because the agency is my main focus. Like, it's like the North Star, right? Um I don't want to be doing anything else but the agency. But if I can, if some opportunities come where I can just like devote, you know, maybe a Saturday or something or a Saturday afternoon, then I'm more than happy to entertain it as long as this doesn't like overshadow my agency. Because obviously the agency is what I'm building. This is just like one off, two off, jo two Z jobs with regards to just helping people. Um, whereas with the agency, I'm actually building something re monthly recurring revenue, whereas consulting is just one off jobs, as I say. Um, so there's not much to rely on. Uh, just when people reach out, I'll explain whether I can, whether I can help them or whether I can't. I reject so many people that um, want me to help them just because, like, um, if somebody reaches out and they have like a cleaning business, like, how do I do client acquisition? Oh, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I don't have like the faintest clue. Um, like, but if you're like an agency, paid ads, SEO, copywriting, then I do have a clue. Digital marketing, in a, in a nutshell then I can help for it and I'm more than happy to, you know, lend my services. And yeah, so that's how I made the money. Um, and with regards to the agency and losing a client, obviously the monthly recurring revenue has gone down, uh, which is super annoying, super annoying. Um, second time it's ever happened. Um, so yeah, what can I say? I'm just a little bit devastated, right? That the monthly recurring revenue has gone down. Because obviously I'm trying to get to a certain point where I can, instead of outsourcing stuff to, you know, freelancers, I can actually get, you know, somebody in-house. Um, and not only just one person in-house, hopefully two people in-house. Um, and by in-house, I mean, you know, uh, working for me instead of, you know, working with me as like a freelancer. Um, so that would be really helpful. But yeah, monthly recurring revenue has gone down because we lost a client. Um, but I guess, you know, the consulting services made up for it because obviously, you know, it's good money, right? Um, sorry guys, my camera's about to fall. Do apologize, do apologize, do apologize. Okay, um, and what else do I want to mention? I've got it written down actually, I don't know why. <laughs> I was looking into the abyss. <laughs> um, so one thing I've been doing lately is obsessing over my actions because it all comes down to your actions. What you're doing on a daily basis, that's who you're going to become, right? If you, you know, do the reach outs every day by reach outs, I mean, you know, uh, cold calls, cold emails, cold DMs, um, those actions are going to lead to results. If you post content, you know, day in, day out on all platforms, that's going to lead to results. Um, I'm not like a very wishy-washy person. I just like to look at it like actions. I'm not like into manifestation, spiritual stuff, praying for this, praying for that, um, looking in like internal trauma or whatever, uh, trying to manifest. No, that's not me. Um, I'd rather just lay it out in actions that I need to complete every day, tick them off and then just, you know, piss about with my life. Um, and I find that really to be helpful. Like, for example, I know, like, actually, I have so many, like, you know, post-it notes on my, um, on my desk with regards to, like, actions I need to do. Uh, I have loads of whiteboards, stuff of that nature. Um, but, yeah, like, I lay out all the actions I need to do. Like, wake up, do, you know, 100 reach-outs, and then pay £100 in ads. So I run, you know, Google ads and Instagram ads for the agency, script and post content, um, complete my to-do list, do fulfillment, do lifetime gross. I work on my client, my company's lifetime gross profit, all of that good stuff. So I lay out all the actions that 
will lead to success. And those are just some examples. It's actually just like I've laid them all out in like a paragraph. And then like I'm really obsessed with laying out everything that I need to do in a day into actionable actions uh, and then putting it into a sentence just like one paragraph and then i'll just read that paragraph i know the plan for today i know how to do it and i like breaking it down so instead of saying you know advertise the business i'm like um you know do 100 dials then pay 100 pounds on google ads and then i'll do a whole paragraph of that and it just means like i don't have to think uh <laughs> i just don't have to think about my day like especially when waking up i just follow this paragraph um which says you know wake up do 100 dials pay 100 pounds in ads start scripting and posting content um do all client fulfillment you know and blah 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 and it's got loads of stuff on it with regards to you know keeping my phone up my room um exercise stuff of that nature but yeah if i lay out everything that will lead to success in the domains that i want to see success in that being the business and the content and my put and you know uh and my fitness sorry uh laying that into one sentence uh and then just making it um and then just keep refining it keep refining it keep refining it until you know i have like a, a sentence slash paragraph that i can actually that i can execute every day and that will stack up over time and these actions will lead to the results that i want so for example this is just one sentence upon waking up i do 100 reach outs and then pay 100 pounds in ads after i script and post content then i complete my to-do list including client fulfillment and improving lifetime gross profit so that's for the business and that just shows you what my mornings look like um, into my early afternoons but i can just follow that every day and i don't have to think about what i need to do today because every day is more or less the same with the agency um and yeah i find that just identify the actions that are going to lead to your success um so for your business it'll be advertising the business uh doing client fulfillment working on your lifetime gross profit if it's your content it'll be you know scripting content posting content all of that good stuff if it's your fitness it's going to be you know running or you know weightlifting put it into an actionable actionable um paragraph and i don't just mean like say you know i'm going to exercise today no break it down like what time are you going to exercise um how are you going to exercise like are you going to do 5ks are you going to do intervals are you going to do 10Ks? Are you going to lift weights? What day is it? Leg day, back day, chest day? Uh, break it really down so that you don't have to think about it on a daily basis. You've got it all written out. It's actionable. There's no ambiguity with regards to it. Like, I never say, I'm going to advertise. I always go, upon waking up, I do 100 reach outs because I know there's no ambiguity there. Like, I know what to do and then I'm locked in and, you know, I don't have to work, start thinking about anything. I just go, especially in the mornings when, you know, my brain's not working. But, um, yeah, hopefully that video was helpful to someone and uh, I'll see you later.